G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. So, let's just launch a rocket first. Okay, so I've turned the system off because I needed to launch one fusion reactor. Okay, launch it from that silo instead. Uh, which will complete this rocket. And then we're going to do our customary two supporter rockets. And then we'll get into everything that's happened between episodes. Because we ended last episode with 224 rockets launched. And we're up to 249 now. So we're going to do on, off. We'll get this launch done. And then, come on. Fly faster. Uh, one down. And... Two down, I hope. Nope. They hadn't finished their cycle. Alright. Uh, okay, so this rocket we're gonna give the name... Uh... Hang on, I'm trying to find out how to copy out of out of that really well. Okay, so we're going to give this rocket, this rocket's Elysium, again, long-time Patreon supporter. Um, he's actually the one that's hosting the current community server for, or supporter server for Seven Days to Die, um, which I'm enjoying. I, I, I do enjoy Seven Days to Die. It's, it's not my normal game. Uh... Okay, and the second one we're going to do is Julie Jane. Now, Julie Jane is one of my moderators. She's also... Like, would probably belong in my first... At least thousand subscribers. If not my first few hundred subscribers. Um, JJ's been around for a long time. Um, and I appreciate everything that she's... She's hung, hung around for, put up with... Uh, yeah, it's 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 good to see these names that you know were the, the first on our Discord server and are still hanging around even at this stage, you know, three years later. Um where are we? I want a hyphen. I want a hyphen. I don't have a hyphen. I know I don't have a hyphen, but I did have a dash. Cool. Uh Elysium and then oh well, that didn't work. And JJ. Uh, I have no idea if I have enough letters. Yes. Okay, so we've got our two supporters launched. Uh, to go with our two supporters, I need to thank... Where were we? 222, I want to say. Um, hi, Vector. Right... Davison, Mail Order Japan, Julie Fisher, uh, that's actually JJ, uh, Evil Reyes, um, Evil Reyes is a great uh, Twitch streamer, um, also does a lot of Factoria, um, dead set, if, if you're interested in um, watching Factoria when I, when you've already watched all my videos for the day, um, go look up Evil Reyes on Twitch, he also does lots of other games, but he does do Factoria, uh, Mr. EQ Games, John Arghu, Bry Monk, Keep Tidy, uh, Pat B, Rack Fallon. Rack Fallon was another um, Factory YouTuber. Unfortunately, he he got cool. He, he he started a YouTube channel. He started actually doing really high quality videos, and then got stuck going back to work. So yeah, didn't get to continue doing the videos. Unfortunately, uh, Justin Mertz. Uh, Dak Fetty, uh, Iconza, Terry L, Seven I, uh, Crib, Nia Jaden, uh, where are we? Chris Grant, uh, Dylan Ryder, Jimmy Ryan, Average Joe Gaming. That is such a good, a good name. I like it. I like it. Uh, Sulco, Defuse, uh, Frazen 
barter fancy guys alex dutton and that brings us up to date so we're gonna flick that back on get that up and launching we are short on both the protection fields and the fusion reactors they're the two things holding up launches currently the other thing i wanted to do whilst i think about it is i wanted to move my launches uh I wanted to stop launching. Where is that coming from? That's coming from there. Okay. So you guys can come out too. I wanted to only launch. Uh, only launch space science when that box. You do that one. Say lights. But enable condition only when space science is less than 20,000. Yep. Because I'm just, I'm launching so many rockets. Which cost low density structures and everything else that I don't really need. Uh, we're also going to cancel that and get rid of those. Uh, cool. All right. So that's that fixed. We can leave them launching. Um, yeah, as we can see, it's it's the fusion reactors. That's what's holding us up. Uh, but that should st stop us launching as many rockets from this silo. Um, it is pretty fancy. It's got 3,400. But as you can see, our buffer boxes... Yeah. We're buffering science faster than we can anything else. So... Yeah. I just need to stop launching rockets outright. Uh, cool. Uh, you've emptied... Alright, so... With that said and done, I'm going to walk away from this base. No, actually, I can't walk away from this base. So, things that were changed and fixed. Um, mini Mies. Mini Mies were actually entirely broken because uh, they didn't have iron at all. In fact, they couldn't even reach the belt. So, they got updated, so they now work again. Uh, steel. We'll map view down here. This steel just got doubled and made full length. On top of that, I changed this to have... Um, Rather having instead of have a couple loaders with a bit of belt in the middle, which has basically given us three full steel belts out. Um, as you can see, one's going to where it was, one was going all the way up to here where it was, and the other one's coming down here to make sure we have a very, very full steel belt. It's keeping stuff like this running full pace, um, which is improving this slightly. Unfortunately, we can still see we have a problem with low density structures, which is still on my list of things that I need to fix. Uh, what else got changed? Uh, that didn't get changed. Uh, I don't think anything else in the main base got changed. No. I made notes. Where are my notes? Um, hang on. I'll find, I'll find my notes. I'll find my notes just to make sure. Uh... Okay, steel. Oh, and gears. Gears got an upgrade as well. Uh, where are we? Gears was outputting like two a purple belt to a green loader and green belt here. Um, so I upgraded both those two purple belt speed loaders and unloaders. And then we upgraded this belt all the way through to here to purple belt speed and also through to here. Um, because at one stage the engines were not getting any gears, not because we couldn't make them, but just because we didn't have the throughput required to get to this point. So all this got upgraded, um, gears are no longer a problem. I could probably upgrade the gear belt all the way through them, make almost everything, but I don't think I need to because we just don't go through belt all that fast anymore. Um, occasionally we do and occasionally it's, it's short, but it does catch up reasonably quickly. Um... Oh, research. 
We finished off, I have no idea how much stuff, but we also finished off uh, the next tier of solar panels and accumulators. So we're going to turn those on, uh, which is under here. Bright pink ones, of course. Uh, are you all cat? Look, if, if we manage to make these, we, we're going to intentionally place them. They're so ridiculous expensive. No, wrong ones. We'll just place them. I don't think we'll ever get any done, but you know. Uh, okay, copy that there. Copy that there. You need to be set to the orange one. And you need to be set to the orange one as well. Um, we are slowly getting this upgraded, but we just don't make solar panels all that fast. Where is solar? Do 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 here. Um, it only kicks in and makes more when we have over a thousand in storage, and we don't often have a thousand in, over a thousand in storage. You know, these are going as fast as they can, but we just we just don't have we don't have a big enough production to keep up with just these machines. Um, so yeah, you know that that is what it is. Uh, Okay, and I limited space science, which was a note to myself to limit space science when we got on. And then the last thing we had to do is we had to go back to our big builds and continue working on them. So a couple of things happened down here. Um, I rearranged things, I built things, I, I, I did stuff. So we have our blue circuit build. You'll notice that this is a slightly modified blue circuit build. Um, our original one that we copied was up here. And you can see I'm... I'm running the pipes down the middle um, just to, to save on space and everything else. Um, but what I realized is if I ran the pipes along the outside, I could share my beacons, which is less speed sixes. And speed sixes are a massive problem still. Uh, so did a build like that. Uh, also pasted down the thousand smelters required. Why do you have a gap? Uh, yep, okay. Uh, place down a thousand smelts required to run the green circuits to run into the blue circuits. I haven't worried about red circuits yet. Uh, have upgraded... Is it you? Yes, it's you. So, have upgraded most of this build over to speed sixes already. Uh, done. Okay, have or am about to upgrade red circuits to speed sixes as well. Uh, come on. Come on. I've been running the... Well, it's it's been... I don't know how long. It's I, 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 I honestly don't know how long between one and the other to get from where we were to where we are now. Uh... Okay, we're out of beacons. Also out of speed modules. Woohoo! Um, so it's been a little bit of runtime, uh, obviously, to get from A to B. And in the process of getting from A to B, we have made a significant amount of speed modules, but we just spent them all in like 32 seconds. Um, it really doesn't take as long to spend a bazillion speed modules. I mean, to pick up oil refineries. Uh, hey, you. Or pump checks, rather. Uh, you can come to here. Uh, okay, so, give me. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, I do have logistics on, so that should finish out that one. Uh, I have started concreting down the ore patches we're going to use. We're going to use these two copper, uh, this iron twice. I do have an iron up here we could use instead to run uh, this one. Uh, oops, I want a thousand of those in there too. Uh, you, I would like some pump jacks. There we go. Uh, I also put down, I also put down our acid build. Um, just literally copied it from our existing one, put in a little itty bitty temporary smelter that, cause that's all I need. Honestly, that, that is more enough to run this acid. Hooked this acid up to these blue circuits. 
And that pretty much brings us up, up to date. So this is gonna want 23 red circuits and you make, I don't know, I have to go look at this one because you're missing modules. You make 27. But I have a feeling And you want how many red circuits? 21. Oh. I think I built this around having faster. I think these numbers were based around this having speed sixes all the way through. Because um, the idea being that I can make the speed sixes here on site, at which point I can then because I'm making them on site, I can spend them on site to make the build go faster. I think that's the concept we're running with over here. Uh, but you want 27, you have red circuits coming this side, blue circuits come out. Okay, so blue circuits are on the bottom belt. Okay, how'd I do this over here? Uh, probably much more skillfully because I only had two to deal with. Yeah, and I merged them up there, but that's not gonna work anymore. Uh, okay, so what I can do... Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. So the only good suggestion I have is to put in a splitter and say filter. Um, I need to have one in my inventory to filter. Awesome. Okay. So that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with a filter out. Uh, up to there, up to there. That's gonna go over there. And that'll be bring my blue circuits out. Okay, so I need to get red circuits in here and then you're actually running. So, red circuits, output over here. Uh, hang on, you, each one of these builds does like 27, doesn't it? 27, 21, 20 something? 27. So, no. We're gonna run you that way. We're gonna clear off that. I'm gonna bring that one into there and we'll bring that one up but this one I'll bring down and across I really wish I could reverse some of these builds and have red circuits pop out this end uh, okay and where's green circuits green circuits be th oh, not green circuits blue circuits be there we just run the belt like that. Paste, bring that up to there. Bring that across to there, done. Okay, so this should get this build up and running. Uh, which then, after it's up and running, I can actually set a filter. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Cool. Now, biggest problem is I'm missing speed sixes. I'm missing speed sixes through every single green circuit build. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I just don't have them. So it means every green circuit build is actually gonna be too slow. And like I said, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Uh, I wanna turn you guys off uh, 
Okay. Turn off legs. Clear off the belts. Oh, that doesn't work. That works even less well. Okay. So I should be able to paste that there, and there, and there. Um, there? Yes. Now, how much are you producing? 28. Yeah, we can run that onto a half a purple belt. Oh, clear all the contamination. Okay. So... We now need to run this giant belt all the way back up. Actually, technically we don't. Okay, I'm going to put these numbers over here because they're obviously important. I don't remember what they're for, but they're important. Okay, so you're going to take in red circuits, green circuits. Uh, and you need how many green circuits? There are to there. Need... 16. So, like one of these little belts. Uh, he says, knowing these builds are not exactly little, I just ran out of belt. Uh, that would help. Alright, where do I get some copper from? Uh, down here, it seems. Alright, uh, you're going to be iron, and you're going to be copper, bring that up, and bring that across. I'll get that green circuit booted up. And then once you're running, we can take your belt. Mm. Uh, are you running it? What are you waiting on? Absolutely nothing. You just fired up. Okay. We can take this belt across to here. And and over the rover port. Is it over the rover port or under the rover port? Because technically it's an underground belt, but you know. Leave that green circuit belt there. Grab this red circuit belt. Uh, actually, if we line up things, give myself a little bit of room. All right. So we're gonna bring in, and green circuits only goes to speed modules. Speed modules. Speed modules. Goes into speed module ones, does not go into twos, does not go into threes, does not go into fours or fives or sixes. So I should only have to plug this in here and be done with it. You, on the other hand, have to be plugged in like 15,000 different spots. Uh, so we'll bring you around there, we'll plug you in. So you'll start making speed ones, which are going to be output onto this belt which then get absorbed by this belt, which needs to have blue circuits and red circuits on the next, the, the, the right-hand side belt. So if we come up to here, you go in there, but it also means technically we don't need our first blue circuit till here, which means I'm going to save myself some time and some effort. I'm gonna plug that in there. Uh, you can go away, you can go away. And 
you can all go away, because it turns out you are useless. And there's no point running the belt up to run it back down. So. Uh, yeah, there's not enough green circuits. And that's going to be my first hassle. I don't have enough green circuits. Uh, in the meantime, what I can do to supplement my green circuits, because of the lack of speed module sixes, is I can turn on a second build and a third build and just belt them together. Which is normally something I wouldn't do for UPS reasons, but the builds are here and I have a feeling that as we scale things up, we're gonna need more, more, more everything, more green circuits, more red circuits, uh, more blue circuits. Uh, okay, so that's those done. We then patch you over there. Patch you over there. Put a splitter in there. Uh, plug that in there. That should be able to cover all of that. Should output greens. Yeah, copper. Yep. Okay. So, back to this conundrum. You guys are definitely running super, super, super slowly. Uh, that is a upgrade planner. I need a downgrade planner. Oh, that's also an upgrade planner. You are going to be the trusty downgrade planner. So, I want you to go from that to that. And from that to that. Well, that didn't work. That one. Yeah. Just to confirm, I haven't left any speed sixes in the build. I have not. Okay, right, so you guys should output those. You guys should bring those in, make our tier two modules, uh, which stop here for some reason. Hang on. Is that going... That is going, that is going, and that is going. And that belt is still pathetic. You want 16. Oh, you make 21. Okay, so you will back up eventually. Okay. So you're maybe just a break in the belt for reasons that I don't understand. Okay, so you're going to make module threes. Which then I'm hoping you kick on and make module fours. I'm hoping. Uh, meanwhile, I think we're done with you. I also think we're done with you, you, and you. I think. That's all modules, that's modules, that's concrete, that's concrete, that's concrete. Uh, technically, they could probably be packed up. I don't think there's any sixes in there. No, there isn't. Okay, come on! You need to produce some stuff. None of you have stuff yet. What are we waiting on? We're waiting on you to pump out one module. 1.5k crafting time. Yeah, it's slow. It's slow. At least the machine looks like it's going fast. Oh, there's our first one. And it's going to get swallowed by this machine, which is good, except we need six more of them. Yeah, we're going to be waiting a while. Okay, go back to my green circuits. Green circuits are maxed out. Uh, red circuits are... Well, they use this side on this build. They use this side on this build. Okay, and my current production says... From here down, I need... Five and five. And you produce... Twenty-eight. And you produce... Sixty-five. Oh, hang on. Someone that's used to go south to blue circuits. You produce 45. 
And I need five, which leaves 40 left over. And you use 16. Yeah, I've got a lot of overproduction. Uh, okay, that's speed. I got three. I got three. Okay, once you get to there, you're a compressed item. So I want to take my crap. You, train that I just sent away. Come back. I don't want to go into a belt, onto a belt, into another passive provider. Yep. Except I want to limit you to... You. I want one of them. So, the idea is, if there's less than 10 speed 6s in the network, uh, you will put it into a belt box stacker, which will which will unstack this and give me a stack of 25 speed module 6s, which will then go into uh, a loader, unloader, into a passive provider chest. And if all goes well... Then that should put speed sixes in this local network. I won't get to spend them just yet because you make one point one 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 one. You make zero one o oh five. That's right. I can't type on the keyboard. I'll do one o oh five multiplied by twenty five divided by oh point one o oh five. Multiply by 25 equals 2.6 speed module sixes per minute. And I need 663. Uh, 660, oops, 663 divided by 2.5 per minute equals 265. So like four hours, four hours before this thing actually has output. That's not acceptable. But you're overproducing, and you're over everything's overproducing. So I don't have a way to get better beacon coverage. Nope. Because technically, see, this is the problem. Technically, I don't need these guys going fast. Well, no. Technically, I don't need green circuits going faster until we put more draw on the system. So I need to make modules faster, but I can't make modules faster until we've got the speed modules out doing the green circuits. Uh-huh, uh-huh, first world problems. Okay. 3,000 seconds crafting time. And I need, I've, you've already done one, but I need four more. I'm not hanging around for this. Maybe I'll just stand here and put in a time lapse or something. Actually, logistics, main base, module six. I do have 227 up at base. So we are making them reasonably quickly up at base. Uh, obviously, this is going to be way faster once it's all running. But I can half build this build already, which probably means I'm going to start down here. Well, actually, it'd make more sense to start at this and have overproduction. But yeah, I think I might start using them in this. Um, okay, and the other thing I want to do is I want to... Nope. I want to... I don't request slot. That's the one I want. Which will cancel you lot asking for speed sixes. Because I don't think I want you guys to have speed sixes. But... I'm going to leave this episode here. This is like a giant accomplishment. It might not feel like it, but trust me, this is massive. The fact that we have this now outputting speed sixes. Yes, it's going to use a lot of speed sixes to boost itself and make itself go faster. But also means I have a semi blueprint to then go do the exact same somewhere else for productivity modules. 
So it's again, find some oil with some iron, some copper, some coal, like, you know, something like this or this, and then blueprint down literally these components. And due to the size of our mining productivity at whatever the hell that is, you know, like, like ridiculously high levels, it does mean that I don't have to worry too much about drawing off the same patch eight times because we're just not going to use the materials. Um, if we go... Well, this got set up ages ago. It's still gnawing its way through. Like, this is the copper in the main bus. Um, it came up to here. We've only taken that much out of it and the patch is only 115 million. I know, only 115 million. Like, this, which I saw 10 episodes ago, is down to nothing in the way of coal. That is our coal for main bus to do military science. Yeah, we're not really using that. That is coal for nothing, it turns out. All belts that need to be recycled. Uh, it's coal for plastic, 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 and explosives. So that's coal for the whole main base. Like, that's a substantial amount of coal. Yeah, it doesn't worry us. Uh, sorry, I think I clipped an acid pipe and I can't find it if I did. Um, that's, that's a substantial amount of coal we're using and it's just, this is lasting forever. So, like, one do just run out. Um, yes, I don't have to worry too much about resources. Like, same with these. We took a big chunk out of them to start with, but since then the mining productivity's got so high that this is still running full speed. Like, all the belts are still running, the smelters are still running, um, they, they hardly ever wander out and do any mining whatsoever. So, with that said, we've got two out of four, it's got a while, it's got a while. Um, but with all that said, I'm going to call it here, oh, uh, launches, we do have, uh, Bryce Merritt, in case I missed him before, Blackwind, uh, Caffiti, uh, Martin Pryor, uh, Brendan Hine, uh, my alarm going off to remind me to wake up at 1am, yes, I'm up early, uh, Zanapus and Kim Volderberg along with Injury, in, 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 Injury, Injury, um, but with that all that said, that's where we're going to leave it here, thank you guys, everybody who's clicking the subscribe button, thank you everybody um who's patiently waiting for your intergalactic spaceship to be launched they are being launched as you can see quite a few every episode but it looks like next episode we need to work out how the hell we're going to increase our protection field and fusion reactor builds because that seems to be our current bottleneck and we have to do it without any speed module sixes because oh it turned on it turned on um, yeah, uh, they're all going to be brought down here and spent down here. Anyway, all that said, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we do not need all those assemblers. Right, bye.